Hostile hasn't re-engaged. Eyes open for further contact. Senor Rodriguez, this is Avi Huerta. I'm sorry we weren't able to meet. This better be worth it, amigo. It is. I promise you. Back to your post. Find it. This is some place, Javi. An aqueduct. At least six centuries old. And sealed off by the Black Hand since its discovery. Uh-huh. I promise I will explain everything. There's a map inside the plane. You can get my coordinates from there. Got your map. Where am I going? I'd like to begin with where you're coming from. That aqueduct is hidden behind those doors for a reason. For years, I have gathered evidence that the indigenous peoples of Solis were more advanced than we've been told. The Espinosas didn't like anyone challenging their narrative. I was imprisoned. My wife won't speak to me. My reputation is ruined. Your shady friends seem to think you are okay. I made allies in prison. People who'd seen the cracks in the facade. Now they help me uncover the truth. And what do you need me for? I believe I have discovered the path to the tomb of Otorongo, last ruler of the pre-Espinosa people of Solis. According to the history books, Otorongo was executed for countless murders. But I believe the reality is more complex and dangerous. To who? The Espinosas. Their monopoly. If this part of history is not true, what else might be false? Histories, criminal records, election results. Truth is a commodity to the wealthy. Dropping off plata and ka -ching. Your lie becomes the law. You had a lot of time to think in prison, huh? You have no idea. Senor Rodriguez. Find me at the mouth of the cenote when you arrive. The what? Ah, a cave in the top of the mountain. Javi Huerta. Did you bring what I asked? See, si. your stash is safe for now. You want to put that gun down? It's not a gun, Senor Rodriguez. It's a relic. A figure of Otorongo. Mid 16th century. So, were you going to hit me with that? Hit you? <laughs> I was going to run away with it. To protect it. It's very precious. Hmm. See, si. the Black Hand were very interested in your collection. Yes, well, uh, the truth is a very powerful weapon. Oscar Espinosa fears that I will use it against him. And you really think what you find in Otorongo's tomb can help you take down Espinosa? Take down? 
Perhaps not. Discredit? Most definitely. And this is Otorongo's tomb? Oh, hardly. No, this is merely the tomb of his servant, Sumak. But I've been unable to proceed further without my retract motor. Did you bring it? <laughs> I see. Bueno. Let's begin. why we need the retract motor Rico. I believe it is connected to underground machinery. That sounded like something. I see it. A giant head. Rico, follow it. I can tell what kind of day this is going to be. Sculpture of an honored person. This one may be Sumak's visage. Avi, big guy and I are at the floor of the cave. What do you see? There's a mechanism in the ground. Looks about the same size as the head. It's a giant lock, Rico. The Uma is the key. Can you use the retract to get the Uma to the mechanism? Why not? If something happened, a door opened up. It must be the vault, where Sumak sleeps eternal. There's a human skull with a candle inside. Light it, and be ready for anything. It must be the vault, where Sumak sleeps eternal. There's text on the wall. I'm buried. Only five beds remain. That mean anything to you? No. It sounds like a single line from a longer text. There must be more. If he's gonna screw over Espinosa, count me in. Bueno. Others close to Otorongo will likely have the other lines. The tombs of his family, his advisors. I'll keep my eyes open.
Just get it done! Hey, go sober up Charlie. Get him working on some new pages with the frogs. Hey, look at you, you handsome devil. Garland King, you've heard of me. No, but I've heard you can help the Army of Chaos. <laughs> Let's not worry about that now. Come on, walk with me. Rico. I love everything about you, man. The look, the swagger, the leather. You're an artist, my friend. The Da Vinci of violence. Which is why I need you for this picture. I don't see what that has that, to do We'll with. work out the details later. Hey, you see that barely floating rust bucket there? See. Si. I need it to careen through the water. My stuntmen, bless their square jaws. They can take a left hook, but uh, they lack the touch of a true artiste. So here, you take these. And I want you and to- I... da -da! Details. Just plant them on the rust bucket and send that baby straight to the great dry dock in the sky. King, what's this about frog? That has nothing to do with my story. Hey! Are you in? I suppose I could- Perfect! We'll get your agent a copy of the contract. You don't have an agent. We'll get you an agent. We're gonna do amazing things together, doll. Okay. Hey, Charlie! Fuck your story, all right? You know, that's the old way. We're gonna do something that's never been done before. Bodyguard. I haven't agreed to anything. I got a lot of expensive equipment in this band, so don't let them wreck us. Uh, fine. I came here to shoot my next picture. My magnum opus. Oh. Yeah. It looks like a paradise, but everywhere you go, it's permits. And they only give you permits if you're Espinosa Telecom. And by the way, I'm not. Espinosa Telecom. They got this place locked down tighter than a clam's ass. Why are they always putting things in the road? Woo! They got this place locked down tighter than a clam's ass at high tide. I love Sony's. Wish I had a DP in the car. You're doing beautiful work. You blow stuff up for a living. Most guys just pretend to do it and let the effects department handle the rest. Not you and me, Rico. We're a pair. Stick with me, kid. Starring in my picture will make you... Where are we going? I'm headed to the next shoot. You're gonna fake my death. We just met, and I'm already faking your death. Be a sport, sport. You're almost wrapped for the day. I better find a black hand outpost. Lure him away, then wreck the van. Make it look like I died in a big explosion. That's how I always wanted to go. Are you kidding? I wouldn't get about my own death. Make it dramatic. Bombastic. Should buy me a few hours. Up to Luego. Lure him away, then wreck the van. Make it look like I died in a big explosion. 
That's how I always wanted to go. Are you kidding? I wouldn't get about my own death. Make it dramatic. Bombastic. Should buy me a few hours. Hasta luego. Can keep Listen, baby, I know you're busy. Stop by when you got time. I've got more work for you. It'll be worth your while. My people will call you. Ciao! Sheesh. Target is in a ground vehicle. 
Make sure to break them in before you ask them to drop supplies over a war zone, hmm? Eso. So, I'd say, trust me, I know what I'm doing, but we both know that's not true. Que mas, Rico? There's a member of a Black Hand counterintelligence unit nearby expecting a ride. Can you pretend to be their driver? Home. Sorry, please. I'm not taking it. And she tells me she's only worried because... Go get your passenger, Rico. This is car 04. Client is in the vehicle. Bonnie, now just destroy that vehicle, but it's gotta look like an accident. They can't know that we know, you know? I can't wait for these stupid rebels to be... Dropped off your client, Sergio. Que bien, Rico. They were up to no good.
Moving out? We're ready to go, but Izzy's off getting us some intel from a guy in Kuya. Can you make sure she gets to the outpost safely? Can't wait to meet her. Hey, Nico, good chance to test our new pilots, no? Sure. Chevre, go on, keep on a go. Mira, Sargento, dropping in over Kuya. Yes! Isis waiting for you on the roof of the Batista building. On my way. There she is. <sighs> nice to meet you. Buenas, hardware. No chopper. Figured you'd bring one. Oh, think I know where to get one. I'd say the pilots are gonna work out fine. Let's go, Easy. Ride with you. Mira, where are we going? Listo, just got here. Sending you coordinates. Nice city. Poor city. Always been that way. Before he moved to his castle in the sky, Espinosa headquarters was in Huevavos. All the money is there. So, people in Cuya can buy other ways, like selling black market information to the Army of Chaos. What's the intel? Peter's eyes only. Oye, turn on the radio. Need music. My mind. It's 20 years, Diago, but Solis weather is still a little volatile. Well, controlling the weather is a pretty big challenge, I'd imagine. Oh, it has to be. Santiago, I learned a lot of cool things from Oscar Espinosa's new book, and now I'm going this to... This looks like this spot. Fire, true or false type questions. Okay, go ahead. Just a reminder to the audience that we did not discuss this ahead of time. <laughs> no one's going to think that, Diago. Okay, first, Oscar Espinosa is the current... Thanks for the lift, hardware. Anytime. Mira, we're here. Bien, I'm in the control center. Come on up.
Quit the call. How's it going, Easy? It's going. We're pushing forward, but none of that matters unless we can disable the Yappa's defenses. Easy and I have been working on that. All of these facilities house prototype weather cores, and each core is connected to Yappa's defense network. Mm, towers with artillery. See, if we can plant a virus in those weather cores, we can send a message up the network, causing malfunctions in the tower's machinery. Everything breaks, boom, no more artillery. Then we just have the blizzard. One thing at a time, Mira. Tell me more about the facilities housing the weather cores. This is Zona Uno. It's protected by a sandstorm. Mira, here. Gracias, Izzy. What's that? Information on a place called La Masmora. It's a prison hidden in the desert. Something Gabriela said. I think my uncle Lanza might still be alive. And if he is, he's being held there. And, uh... He can help us get into Zona Uno? He helped your father build Project Iapa. Ira, hmm. if he's still alive, I'll find him. Here? is Zona Trace. According to Izzy, he's not on the network, but I have an old friend, Cesar. He has a theory that might help us. Then let's hear what he has to say. And this is Zona Dos. We don't know much about that facility... Are you ever going to answer this? I'm not an agency man anymore. Rico, those coordinates are close. Look. Ay, that can't be a coincidence. I'll check it out. I'm sending you all the data you'll need to your AR lens. Good. Let's start hitting our scar where it hurts. Tom Sheldon. Well, I guess you got my message. It's all clear, Mita. I'm on my way. Who's that? Why are you here, Sheldon? When you went dark after Medici, I pulled files. See where you might end up. It turns out your dad was working with Oscar Espinoza. What do you know about Iapa? I know there's lots of buzz about Solis at the agency these days. Talk of weather modification technology, strategic atmospherics. Of course, once the higher-ups heard that I was looking at those IAPA files, I ended up on administrative leave. Guess I'm not the only one who doesn't trust Tom Sheldon. I know you're looking to take out IAPA, Rico. I've already done some of the legwork. You screwed me over more than once in Medici. I don't want your help, Sheldon. Well, you're gonna need it. I did some snooping around Zona Dos. <clears throat> Turns out that place is constantly surrounded by a nasty lightning storm. Fried poor Annabelle here. That seems pretty suspicious to have a standing lightning storm like that, don't you think? This a friend of yours, Rico? Not exactly. Mira Morales, this is Tom Sheldon. I've known him for 20 years. He cannot be trusted. Buenas. Don't listen to this guy, senorita. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Rico and I were just discussing the situation with Zona Dos. And you know how to access the core? I don't know anything about the core, but I got a good idea how to get us past that lightning storm. 
Good luck with Annabelle, Sheldon. We'll figure something else out. He's got a plan, Rico. And we don't. Talk. Okay. Now, there's a river that runs underneath the facility. I figure we use a boat to get close. You remember the Stingray base back in Medici? The same basic concept. Do you want to make a lightning-proof boat? Yeah, bingo. Now, I also hear there's a nearby research lab that's testing a way to harness lightning. Figure we find something there to protect the boat, spare us poor Annabelle's fate. You're talking about that facility in the mountains, Mediola. <laughs> you got it. And we could do the custom boat work at Prospero Astiero. Interesting. Yeah, coming around, aren't you? Why are you doing this, Sheldon? <laughs> well... Because I owe you, Rico. You want to take out Iapa? I want to help you do it. Besides, we both know we can't have just anybody running around with a weather weapon, for God's sakes. You got a better idea? Shit. That's what I like to hear. So, we meet up at Medio Lab when we're ready? Sounds good. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna shoot me. <laughs> Not this time, Sheldon. 